All right, so you clicked on this video because you want the latest iOS beta program or you just wanted the latest iOS version. Now you could get beta programs without a developer account with this program. It's called iAnyGo. So you don't need a developer account to get the latest iOS 11 beta version or anything like that. Normally, in order to get the latest beta versions, you'd have to pay Apple monthly for a developer account. But with this program, you don't need to do that. Now, if you just want to downgrade your iOS version, for example, you're on iOS 11 beta 3 and you don't like the beta, you could easily use this program to downgrade as well. So this program is basically a two function program. It's simple, straightforward, click to upgrade, click to downgrade. Now, basically, in order to upgrade or downgrade your iPhones, people normally have to go with iTunes, then have to Google and find the firmware that they need to download. Now, those firmwares are called IPSW files. So if you don't know about IPSW files, you literally don't need to know about it because this program basically fishes all of those files for you out in the wild and drags it into the program for you to use with just one simple click. Now, simple steps, as I said before, links down below in the description to try it out. You could get it for Windows or Mac. So it doesn't matter what laptop you have. All you need is your laptop and your USB cable, lightning cable. So first off, download the link in the description install it onto your desktop or laptop whatever you have then connect your device with the usb cable now once you're connected you'll find two options that will pop up it's the main interface it's super simple one says click to upgrade click to downgrade right beside each other now depending on what you want to do if you want to upgrade hit click to upgrade and if you look on the top you could also see device name the device model the iOS version that you're on and also if you have a firmware that you want to install you could easily import it it's it will be right beside the download button you could import the firmware if you have it already installed on your desktop but if you don't have it installed you, you simply could just download it instead now as I said before it's really simple guys you basically click to upgrade choose which firmware you want to upgrade to but if you're on the latest version, it will say, sorry, you're already on the latest version as it showed me right there because I'm really, I'm already on the latest version, which is iOS 11.1 beta 3. Now, if you want to downgrade, it's simple as well. Same thing, hit the downgrade option, connect your device with the USB cable. If you're not already connected, then you'll find a device name and all of that laddy daddy stuff. You find all your information, your storage and everything like that. Then you simply hit the firmware that you want to downgrade to. Now, it will only show options that Apple is still signing. So if Apple is not signing any software or firmware, you won't see anything to downgrade to. But if Apple is signing it, you will see it there. You just need to click the one you want, hit download, and it will start to downgrade your device. Please make sure you do a backup before you try anything like this and you also need iTunes installed. You won't need to use iTunes, you just need iTunes so your laptop could pick up the device. And that's basically it. Super simple application I found. As I said before, you could download it. Links will be down below in the description. You could get the free trial or you could pay for it and it's definitely worth it every single penny now i'll see if i could get some discount codes for you guys i'm not sure i'll try to reach out to them see if they'll hit me up if they do i'll have the discount codes linked down below in the description now as i said before this is the best program for you if you don't care about ipsw files if you don't want to pay for a developer program and you want to get the latest betas or you simply just want to downgrade your is firmware this program does all of that with just two three steps three clicks you're good to go now, if you enjoyed the video guys if i helped you please drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe any questions whatsoever leave them down in the comments or follow my twitter at it's underscore chevy so we can talk like have a little conversation so I could help you guys out more. As always, love, peace, happy downloading, and upgrading. Signing out.